Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to teach you how to build a high converting sales funnel for your online business. I know you've heard the word sales funnel over and over again, but I want to give a definition just to be sure that we are on the same exact page in this video. So what is a sales funnel? A sales funnel is a descriptive term that shows the customer journey from the very first point of contact till when the sale is made. So the whole thing, the whole activity you plan from when the customer first sees your maybe advertising material or comes across your products or service or freebie for the very first time to the point where they swipe their cards and make payment, that entire system, that entire journey is called the sales funnel. This might not be the definition that you've had in your head for the longest time, but this is the accurate definition of a sales funnel. And in this video, I want to teach you how to create one that brings you very high conversion. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Anansi Mosu. I'm a digital product launch expert, and I teach content and social media marketing for visibility and conversion. I'm the lead trainer at the Business of Social Media Marketing Academy, the online school where you learn social media marketing skills and how to make money from them as a freelancer or a paid employee. You can find the link to join the academy in the description below. All right, so let's get right into today's video. I'm going to be leaving you with five strategies to building out your sales funnel. These five strategies will guide you in creating your entire customer journey and building it in a way that it brings you very high conversion. So my first strategy is something that a lot of people think they know how to do, but really they do not because they always go generic instead of being specific. And what is that? Number one is understanding your actual target audience. Let me give you an example. A fitness coach once came to us to launch a digital product and we were trying to map out, you know, the sales funnel. And in trying to understand her target audience, I just asked her, okay, so we are at this point right now where we are trying to build out your sales funnel. Who would you say you're targeting for this online course? And she's like, oh, my target audience is anyone interested in fitness that lives around, she mentions a particular location because she has physical sessions and ends between ABC amount of money. It sounded nice, but when I probed further, I actually understood her why. Her why was that by the time she was done having her children, she has three kids, she struggled for a very long time to lose post-pattern weight. And when she was now eventually able to lose that weight, especially the mommy pouch fat, she took that message and went online and was able to find a lot of women who were going through the same thing or who were about to get married or who were pregnant and were thinking about still being attractive even after having children. And this message resonated so much that her first launch with no system, no structure, she had over 100 people sign up. That was boom. Now she wants to launch a proper online course. So she's coming to me as a digital product launch expert to help her put it together in a systemized format, driven heavily by automations and data that is well researched. Now she comes, she has the money to pay, but she does not even know her actual target audience. So while doing this deep dive, you know, clarifying her target audience, we are now able to understand that she is here specifically to serve new moms um, or even moms who are trying to get back into shape, you know, women who are trying to look attractive and lose mommy, the mommy pouch, you know, just to get yourself back after having children. And that was the game changer because the moment we clarified that, we now had different scenarios, different storytelling approaches, different content formats and content pillars that we could use to actually call out the actual target audience. And there's not been one cohort of our of our course that she was not sold out on the capacity she really wanted to be on. So that's it for the fitness coach. Um, I was talking to a realtor who wants to do an online course and I was like, who is your online course? And he says, oh, anybody who wants to buy land in Nigeria. No, that is generic. You have to be super specific. You have to speak like you're talking to one person and that one person begins to multiply. So you can find another person with the same situation or similar situation across multiple continents and countries. But you have to, first of all, be very specific about that one person 
speak to one person every single time and they just find a way to multiply once you can identify who the one is. And that is point number one. Point number two, create lead magnets that are irresistible, that are of high quality, that are super valuable. In your sales funnel, you want to take the necessary measures to ensure that your lead magnet makes your entire funnel a tripwire funnel. What does that mean? When people download your freebie, whatever the freebie is, whether it's an ebook or a video training or a webinar, whatever it is, when they, att when they attend your freebie or download your freebie, it has to be so valuable that it is mind blowing. Earlier in the year, I did a freebie called the High Converting Content Webinar. And boy, oh boy, we had over 1,000 registrations for the webinar. Had over 2,000 people watch the webinar. And the comments and the DMs in my Instagram were crazy and over the road because people would just go to the webinar, watch it, and come back to come and tell me, Nancy, thank you really because you've helped me with my content just with this webinar. It has to be that valuable. Listen, they may not necessarily buy immediately, but they have joined your funnel and they have become your warm audience. And even if they're not going to buy your online course, maybe because it's high ticket at the time, think of your low ticket products and strategically position them in a way that they can find them as well because they will most likely buy them at the time. So let's go to point number three. Build a landing page. Now, a landing page is not what most people use it for. Most people would come to a landing page and try to sell you, sell to you, it's so salesy. By the fourth paragraph, you're still trying to figure out what exactly is this person saying on this landing page. And if you don't know what a landing page is, is that singular page of the website that is dedicated to the online course that you're trying to sell. Where from the beginning, you're talking about the course, you're calling out the actual target audience, you're talking about the benefits, you're talking about the features, you're talking about the offers, you're talking about the results and the transformation that's going to happen there. And you're talking about yourself and why you are the best person to take them on this journey of transformation that you're promising on that single website page. So that single page on a website is called a landing page. Now, what most people do with the landing page is that they keep selling. Oh my God, they sell to the point that it is sickening. Your landing page should be more informational than it is salesy. So don't go telling people, buy, buy, buy. No, take your time. Think of it like a pitch, like you're making a pitch to this invisible panel of churches and pitch yourself line by line on that landing page. Explain every single thing in detail. Think of all the questions that might be in your head and answer it right there. When is the program starting? How many weeks is the program? How much is the program? Why should I attend this program? Who is this program for? What are some results you can expect at the end of this program? What channels are you going to be using for this program? What times of the day does it happen? Is, is it recorded? Can I take it on my phone? Can I take it with low internet? Think of every single thing and just answer it on the landing page. Yes, you can make your case by encouraging them to buy and giving them the reasons why they should buy, but don't make the landing page all about sales. It can be a sales machine without sounding salesy. And that is because it is so informational that by the time we are done going through it, we have zero questions to ask at the end of it. That is what makes your landing page convert, really. 80% of the time, it has worked for me, it has worked for my clients, and I want it to work for you too, so please use it. Point number four, build an email sequence. When you sell your course just on social media and you make an outrageous amount of sales, I want you to know that you could have made more sales if you leveraged email marketing. Yes, the reason why you're generating leads is so that you can also leverage email marketing. And listen, Every single social media platform you're leveraging right now can go away in a blink of an eye. Literally, it can just vanish. And if you think I'm lying to you, think about other platforms that existed long before now, my space to go and a whole lot of them. Anything can happen. And also think of the days that you couldn't make a single post because Instagram was having a glitch. Yes, it's a broad platform. So the email marketing efforts you have to put in place. It's not just because, oh, my open rates are high or my open rates are low. No, it's because it's a platform you own. You can practically control that platform. 
And you can track your operator. You can track the number of persons on that mailing list who listen to you, who read you, and they can reply you. You can have a personalized conversation one-on-one -on -one with them and give them bespoke solutions. If, you, if you're someone who has like one-on-one -on -one consultations and all of that, you can upsell that and people get to take them every single day, maybe every single week. When you're not leveraging email marketing for your lunches, you are missing out on a lot. But do not sit by your phone waiting to reply emails or send emails all day. Automate them. I use systemy.io for my automations. And in the link below, you would find um, the registration link in case you haven't heard of Systemy before. So you can check that out and start using it to do for your email marketing. I also have a video on how to start your email marketing journey to monetize your inbox. So if you click on the video, also in the description, you can also go to that and watch it too. So email marketing, number four, please check that box in your sales funnel. Very important. Now to the very last point, analyze and optimize your sales funnel. Listen, it's a lot going on at the same time, but you want to be sure that you do a critical analysis of the entire system. Think about all the possible things that a customer would think of, they would need and map out the customer journey in a way that you close all the funnels. Let me give you a practical example of what I'm saying. A sales funnel right now is like coming here to dig a hole. Hmm? You want to gather water. So you come here and dig a very deep hole and you create a pathway that runs to maybe um, a tank that overflows with a zinc on top. So when the tank overflows, the water runs through the zinc and runs into the pathway and it is channeled to that deep hole that you have created. So you are very certain that as long as the tank gets full, there's going to be an overflow that is going to run into the zinc and it's going to go into the pathway that I've mapped for it to follow and brings it directly to my last point of collection, which is that deep hole. That I've dug. So think of it that way. Your lead magnet is the tank. As it's getting full, it's running up, and it's going to the zinc, which is your trip wire funnel, whatever you're using, and it brings people right down into the pathway. So the pathway could be landing on your landing page, getting your emails, maybe a closer is calling them, maybe they're going to check you out online, to so bring them to the collection point, which is the deep well you've dug. And that is your online course or your group coaching program or your ebook or whatever it is you're selling that is paid. So think of all the scenarios and make sure that there are no leaks, that there's no distraction. Nothing takes them out of the funnel, that all the links are working. Um, if they have to go to search your SEO optimized, you know, just ensure that they are properly optimized and it brings them to the endpoints that you had in mind when you were creating the entire sales funnel. The bonus point I'm going to give you here is please, to a very large degree, if possibly, use automations all through. You can automate your emails, you can automate your responses, you can automate the download of your lead magnets. People don't have to keep asking you for access. You have to manually give access to people. All of these things can be automated. And if you're trying to launch a digital product right now and you want to understand how to apply some of this to your launch so that you can launch profitably, you can book a consultation session with me using the link in the description below. And I get to look at your entire sales funnel, your processes, your ideas, and refine them in a way that you can go to the market and return profitably. I hope you've hit the subscription button so you get notifications when the next video goes live, which is every week as at this time. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.